Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the monthly show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of each month, I like to stop by and show you what I received in my P.O. box for the month. Many of the cards you'll see today will be subscriber cards using any sheet load of cards they would like, and these are for the show us your sheet load feature. But I was getting some just because cards and packages, so I started sharing those as well. So I've combined the two into one video, and this is one of my favorite ones to make each month. I love seeing your creativity. And whenever I go to the post office and there's something in my P.O. box, it makes my heart even happier. If you ever want to show us your sheet load, there are three different ways you can do that. You can make a video here on YouTube, you can post on Instagram, and if you do either of those, you'll want to use the specific hashtags that are at the top of the sheet load of cards printables. For instance, this month, May 2021, you would use hashtag show us your sheet load and hashtag S U Y S May 2021. That way I can search for the videos here and the posts over on Instagram and see what you're creating. Make sure to check out the links in the description box below for the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts using this month's sheet load of cards. The third way is to send in a card for this end of the month video. I do have a video that goes over all of the guidelines and how to submit those and I will link that in the description box below. It is called the show us your sheet load guidelines video. I love to receive cards from any subscribers no matter where they live but I do always get a little bit giddy when I see an envelope from a different country. And this month, I was blessed with five envelopes. This is probably my biggest international mail month ever. I have two packages from Ireland, two from Australia, and one from Canada. So I can't wait to share these with you, as well as the other creations that I know are gonna be awesome. What I'll do is take a picture of each, tell you who it's from, and say a little bit about it. Let's get started. These first two cards are actually a couple I missed last month that I got sent for my birthday from a couple special people in my life. The one on the left is from Danny B of Nebraska, and you will know her as Danny Dreams here online sharing her crafty stuff. She is my friend who is also super crafty, and we do the four on Fridays together. You know that I am loving those cute little kitty cats on the front of her card. The card on the left is from my sister Lisa from Iowa, and you are getting to know her on my channel as Crafty Days. We have recently started a fun live crafty event on a couple Fridays a month called Oh So Inspired Live. Just this past Friday, we did the second episode, and here's a little shot of us with the cards we made during the live session. I will link that video in the description box below. I hope that you'll check it out. Keeping my birthday celebration going and kicking off my international packages this month was this card from Alma D of Canada. It is just gorgeous. I am loving the flowers and the little note inside. Thank you so much. Gail O from Australia sent in two cards this month. The one on the left was inspired by my last turn on Craft Roulette, and it is a birthday card for me. And then over on the right is a card using the April 2021 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for these beautiful cards and sending them halfway around the world. 
My first envelope from Ireland was from Trish V and she included seven lovely cards. They use various sheet load of cards, files, or months and she wrote me a lovely note inside letting me know that her and her friend will get online and craft together and that she just recently introduced her to sheet load of cards. Well guess what? My second package from Ireland is from her friend. Rita G sent in these four lovely cards. Some of them were inspired by Sheetload and some are just her own creation. You'll notice on the top left she has made a shaker and you know I love those. And guess what? The two cards in the upper right have their own little surprises. Inside the center one is another shaker. I love that. I've never put a shaker inside the card. And the one on the right opens up to reveal a hug. Thank you so much. This adorable kitty cat birthday card came from Audrey E. of Texas. And not only am I loving the kitty cat on the front, but on the inside, along with another sentiment, she has a stamp that says, sorry, I missed your birthday. Guess what, Audrey? Belated birthday cards are about the only ones I ever get out. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Heather H. from New York sent me this beautiful spring card and what is even more beautiful was a little note inside. Thank you so much Heather for taking the time to send in a card. Once again Yvonne K. from Wisconsin has surprised me with a sheet load of happy mail. I can usually count on an envelope from her each week that I stop by my P.O. box. Now I do have a question for you, Yvonne. Will you let me know in the comment section below how you pronounce your name? I know that I say it about four or five different ways and that could be in the same video. Is it Yvonne? Is it Yvonne? Is it Yeah? Please just help me out so that I can get this correct from here on out. Thank you so much for sending in the cards. Diane A. of California has sent in this yummy looking card inspired by the April 2021 sheet load of cards. I completely want to go to Dairy Queen now and get an ice cream treat. Thank you, Diane. Deneen C. of California, who is one of my sheet load of cards collaboration team members, sent me in one of the cards that she created using the May 2021 sheet load of cards. I mentioned online when I shared a look at it how much it made me smile. Also, she was so kind and sent me the heart die over on the right. I have nothing like this and I know that I will be able to put it to good use. Thank you so much, Deneen. Wanda R. from Virginia sent me this gorgeous Mother's Day card. I am loving the color palette on this and from the close-up you'll notice it's on a clear card base and she has hand folded that dress. Thank you so much Wanda. Jennifer D. from California sent in this lovely example using May 2021 sheet load of cards. I love the gold frames that she used for the matting and I have to know Jennifer where did that pattern paper come from? I am loving the rich colors on those flowers and the different colors of the wood grain. Thank you so much. Lonnie M. from Iowa sent in this next card and my most favorite part of it besides the gorgeous colors is the quote on the stamp. That is one of my favorite all-time quotes. And also Lonnie has mentioned inside her card how she is loving the May sheet load and she's going to be able to donate lots of cards to bring smiles to seniors this month. Thank you so much Lonnie for sending in your beautiful card. Wendy E. from Ohio sent in this lovely card using May 2021. I love the rich colors and how she has embossed a background piece of cardstock. Also on the inside, she has a post-it note with a little message about sending the card on. And while I have seen some post-it notes like this before, hers is just gorgeous with those florals on the top. I did have to cut off the bottom because it had her full name, but these are just beautiful. Thank you so much, Wendy, for sending in a card. 
Christina M. of Illinois sent in two cards this month. The one over on the right with the adorable little critters for a birthday features the March 2021 sheet load of cards. And then over on the left, that birthday card with some cute little doggies features a May 2021. I also love how she has created a matching envelope for that. Thank you for sending this in, Christina. Heidi R. from Washington also kept my birthday month going with this adorable panda birthday card. This was inspired by the last time that I was on Craft Roulette and by the April 2021 sheet load of cards. Thanks so much, Heidi. Sue S. from South Carolina also used the April 2021 sheet load of cards for her mini slimline card. And what I love about this, besides those rich colors and the brushed metal die cut, is the fact that she used that word die cut in place of the sentiment tag that I had on this sheet load. I just love seeing how each of you make sheet loads your own. Thank you so much, Sue. Mary of Fun University and Missouri sent me in a little package this month that I am so loving. On the left there is an adorable little card and then over on the right is one of her Fun University pins. A couple weeks ago she started giving these away live on Craft Roulette for people who submit cards the week before and I might have invited myself to one of these. She was so nice to send me one and I thought I would show you where I'm going to be putting it. To the left of my craft desk where I'm usually creating is a little shelf and wall. And on that wall, I like to put up cards that subscribers have sent me. And I have the little cork board over on the right that I've started using for my little baby pin collection. I recently started collecting enamel pins and what probably started it was we got season tickets to the theater here for the Broadway shows and I love to buy t-shirts when I go to concerts and shows but I knew that that was going to get really pricey with season tickets so I thought that for every show we went to I would collect the pin from it. And here are the ones that I have collected so far. This upcoming season, I am looking forward to all the shows, but especially looking for pins to Hades Town, Wicked, and Dear Evan Hansen. In the upper right are some crafty pins that I got at Joanne. Over on the left, I started a little different area with my fun university pin. I thought over here I would just put different branded ones from companies or channels, that kind of thing. And then in the bottom left, you might recognize this guy from Hamilton. That's Lin-Manuel as Alexander Hamilton with Rise Up there in his hair. Now that I have shared with you my collection, I came up with a great QOTV or question of the video. Today I would like to know, is there anything that you collect? This could be current or past. I would love for you to let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered and would like me to see it. Currently, I am trying to collect cute enamel pins. When I was a child, I loved to collect pencil sharpeners, like the ones that were shaped like things like globes or trains. Usually they were cheap plastic, but sometimes they were kind of a brassy or bronze looking. And now back to Happy Mail. Sharon of Indiana sent in this lovely butterfly card. She has also embossed that cardstock in the background. And just look at that gorgeous coordinating envelope. Thank you so much, Sharon. I can pretty much count on it now that Karen C. from Virginia is going to wow me each month with the cards she sends in. On the outside are two cards using the May 2021 sheet load of cards. And then in the center, Karen has used a free printable that I have provided to channel members to create this thinking of you card. If you ever want to find out more about the perks of being a channel member, I will have a link in the description box below. Karen, thank you so much for sending in these beautiful cards and for supporting me as a channel member. 
Jessica N from Florida sent in two envelopes this month and in the first one were these two beautiful cards using May 2021. I love how she has used pre-made tags for her sentiment but she did fancy them up with the little leaf die cuts and some ribbon and on the right it's actually a clear card. I am so glad that she enjoys those as well. And in the second package, she wowed me with four cards. And these kind of look like they would be a sheet load because they look the same, but I knew that they weren't one of my layouts. Guys, she came up with her own sheet load and sent me four different options. She also sent me this little sketch here of how you can cut your six by six paper. And then over on the right, she had a couple notes. I know that she would love it if you would give this a try for yourself. You can just pause the video or slow it down here on these two sheets. Thank you so much, Jessica, for all of the beautiful cards, and you did a rockin' job with your sheet load. I have to say that you guys amaze me every single month. I think I must have the most talented subscribers out there. Thank you to everyone who took the time to share a card and little gift with me this month. It always makes my heart happy to see your creations and read your lovely little notes. Until my next video, which is the new sheet load of cards tomorrow, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.